There are several interesting things in the last few days reading the Gospel of Matthew. This actually continues from yesterday's reading with the multiplication of loaves and fishes. And that yesterday it began where Jesus just had heard about the uh, John the Baptist being beheaded. He wanted to go to be alone. And then one thing led to another to where uh, basically he took care of the crowd. He had pity on the crowd going from grief to pity just like that. And today it continues from that. Jesus made the disciples get into a boat and proceed him to the other side. And again, he went to be alone. This was evening. Evening had come. And when we hear evening, we think of darkness. So I'd like to go through just different odds and ends just in today's reading. Evening had come. Jesus went to pray. He sent the disciples back across the sea. We go on and wind come up. So Jesus started praying alone in the evening. A wind come up to the disciples in the sea, developed a storm. It says the wind was against them. There was a storm brewing and they were in the sea on a boat afraid. How often does that occur in our life? The wind is against us. Storms are in our life. And it says about the fourth watch, that would have been from three to six in the morning. So we figured Jesus was by himself from evening until about three in the morning. That's a long time, at least it would be for me, to pray, to be alone. The storm was brewing in the sea, and Jesus walks on the water in the storm. But what's interesting, or I'd never noticed it before, the storm was on the sea. The disciples saw Jesus walking on the sea. They think it's a ghost. They don't realize it's Jesus. They find out it's Jesus. He says, do not be afraid. Take courage. And then Peter says, Lord, if it is you, come to me. Command me to come to you on the water. He was on the sea. We think a sea is serpents, monsters. It represents water can go either direction. It can have evil and bad things, tsunamis, tsunamis, and you name it. But we think of water, we think of calm. So when the disciples were in the storm and were afraid, were not looking at Jesus, but they had fear. They realized it's Jesus, and then Peter says, if it is you, command me to walk on the water. A calming effect. They use the word sea twice, and they use the word water twice. Jesus calms the winds and the storms. They realize it's Jesus, after Jesus, after Peter sinks and he says, Lord, save me. Can we see that in our life, in our storms, in the times when the wind is against us and we say, Lord, save us? And then they realize it truly is him. All those in the boat, truly you are the son of God. And they end up on the other side of the sea in this reading, in this gospel, they came to a land called Genesaret. To me, one interesting thing, this same reading in Mark, they leave to go to Bethsaida. In this reading, it says they are headed to the other side of the sea. Bethsaida is on the north side or north end of the Sea of Galilee. Genesaret is farther south on the west side. The wind was against them, and they did not end up where they were planning on going. Now, this is in Mark. 
maybe more of a homily for Mark. But either way, we get lost. But Jesus is with us. They get to Genesaret, and the people there realize who he is, and he heals them. The same with us. In life storms, we get lost, we panic, we're afraid. Whatever the situation, especially we can see it in our times today. Do we say, Lord, save me? Or do we fear the winds and the turmoil in our life and do not recognize God will take care of us? He heals those who are afraid, those who are sick, all of us in all our life. He is there to calm the storms and to lead us in the right direction. Lord, save us.